there finally is some big news regarding Rey Mysterio's return. So we'll see what's new there. We'll also check out what's going on with Gunther, Santos Escobar, and much more. Starting things off with the latest big news for Rey Mysterio and the LWO Civil War storyline. SmackDown has had a handful of great storylines that are all heating up, and one of those hot storylines that is still on the early stages is the LWO Civil War story. This is a story that you can arguably say started at Crown Jewel. Logan Paul was challenging Rey Mysterio for the United States title, and Rey had his hands full in that match trying to overcome all of Logan's cheating ways, including the brass knuckles. Rey was temporarily saved in that match by Santos Escobar, but something that everyone noticed right away was that instead of throwing the brass knuckles out of reach for Logan Paul, Santos instead conveniently enough placed the brass knuckles right on the apron within Logan's reach. Logan Paul did put them on and knocked out Rey Mysterio to win the United States title with the assist going to Santos Escobar of all people. And it was Carlito who brought up that moment to everyone's attention because it appeared that everyone in LWO didn't see that. And once Carlito really exposed that moment and blew Santos Escobar up for trying to sneakily cost Rey Mysterio the United States title, Santos couldn't hold it anymore and let out a brutal attack on Rey Mysterio that was focused on his knees. Sure, Crown Jewel was a very quiet sort of heel turn for Santos, but this SmackDown attack on Rey was his big official moment of turning heel. Rey Mysterio hasn't been seen on WWE television ever since that SmackDown after Crown Jewel. Within the storyline, the narrative is that Santos Escobar's attack on Rey was so brutal and vicious that it forced Rey to go and get knee surgery. And the part of Rey getting knee surgery was actually true, but it was unrelated to the SmackDown attack and was just a simple cleanup surgery on Rey's knee. A lot of people panicked when they first heard the news that Rey legitimately got knee surgery because obviously some knee surgeries will keep you out of action for anywhere next to nine months. But the good part for Ray was that it wasn't any major knee procedure like those other ones. It was just a simple one that would keep him on the shelf for a short couple of weeks. And according to new reports, we may already be nearing Ray Mysterio's return. Ray is being rumored to be back to SmackDown in the next two to four weeks. Ray's return comes at a perfect time within the storyline because his LWO faction has been a bit lost without him, while Santos Escobar only seems to be getting stronger and stronger. Rey Mysterio is undoubtedly the LWO's leader, so they really need him back to lead the charge against Santos Escobar and the new faction that he's forming over there with Humberto and Angel Garza. Santos Escobar cheated his way into the final round of the United States title tournament and will face Kevin Owens to determine the number one contender. And ever since this match for the tournament was announced, fans seem to be very confident about picking Kevin Owens to win the tournament, since a heel versus heel match between Santos and Logan would be a bit awkward. So everyone expects Santos Escobar to come up short during the final round of the tournament. But the big unanswered question is, how exactly will Santos Escobar be screwed out of that number one contenders match against Kevin Owens? A lot of fans figure it'll be LWO getting involved to make sure that Santos Escobar doesn't cheat his way all the way to the United States. But with Rey Mysterio now being rumored to be gearing up for his return spot, this actually seems like a nice spot for Rey's return as well. Within this storyline, Santos Escobar is fully responsible for Rey's knee surgery. So Rey Mysterio should be out for revenge and trying to get Santos back in a way that hurts him the most. And everyone knows that Santos Escobar has been desperately trying to win the United States title ever since he was in the LWO. So what better way for Rey Mysterio to get back at Santos Escobar than ripping that United States title opportunity right out of his grasp? Ray could come out to ringside, surprise Santos, and interfere in a way that makes the match get out of hand for Santos Escobar. Ray Mysterio gets a small bit of revenge, while Santos Escobar's heart will be full of even more rage towards Ray Mysterio, 
because that would now be the second time that Rey has stolen a title opportunity away from him. So that could really set up the foundation for that feud and keep them both locked in on each other. Another big conversation about the storyline continues to be the idea of both sides, Rey and Santos, recruiting new members to their factions. We've seen Santos just pick up Humberto and Angel Garza, so is it time for LWO to answer back with some new recruitments of their own? Well, a recent addition of NXT definitely appeared to fuel that recruitment conversation some more. LWO is Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro paid a recent visit to NXT, where they interacted and reunited with Electra Lopez. They have a lot of history together because Electra was a member of Santos Escobar's original NXT version of Legado del Fantasmo. Lopez was the main woman of the group, but when the faction was called up to the main roster, higher-ups appeared to replace Electra's role within the group with Selena Vega and kept Electra in NXT. So they were catching up and having a fun reunion with each other backstage. Electra seemed very happy to see her former faction members, but who didn't seem happy to see them was Lola Vice. Lola Vice and Electra Lopez were close with each other, but Lola seemed extremely annoyed to see Electra catching up with her former faction members. Lola rolled her eyes and stayed completely out of the conversation the entire time. And like we talked about last week, Lola Vice did tweet out that she was interested in Santos Escobar's new faction. So to see Lola visually annoyed with the LWO, Escobar's oppositions does add up with her new tweets that appear to be more supportive towards Santos Escobar. So even that alone is a very interesting dynamic that they're introducing there with Lola and Electra that could have some heavy impact on the main roster LWO storyline. Could the LWO end up recruiting Electra Lopez back into the faction while Lola Vice takes her talents to Santos' side? Could everything with the LWO Civil War storyline truly split up Lola and Electra? The LWO storyline is absolutely on fire right now and it truly hasn't even started officially quite yet. So, once the other pieces of the story come into play, like Rey's return, new recruits, and Santos vs. Rey one-on-one, -on -one, this storyline should definitely be one of the hottest storylines to kick off the new year. There's going to be a constant conversation and theories surrounding this great story for sure. Outside the world champions like Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, Gunther is arguably at that number three spot of being one of the top WWE superstars in the entire company right now. He hasn't been pinned on the main roster, continues to make history with the Intercontinental Championship, and has been one of the best call-ups in recent memory. But fans got a bit concerned when Gunther hinted at the idea of taking a hiatus during a backstage conversation with Imperium on Raw. Gunther basically told them that he'd be away for a bit but how he wants them to stay on Raw to better their craft. So a lot of fans were curious about that hiatus for Gunther, especially during the peak of his title reign. But more information has been released about the situation. Gunther's hiatus is directly connected to the birth of his son. He'll be taking some time off for the celebration of the birth of his son, but should be back pretty soon. The rumor is that the hiatus for Gunther could only end up being a few weeks long. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.